like to take a look at a true classic and one of my favorite masks of all time, and that is the 1977 Don Post Death Cyborg. Now, um, before I get started, I, I want to say right off the bat that I have been hesitating uh, to do a video on this mask uh, in my collection, and um, primarily because, and, uh, and again, I'll say this right off the bat, um, and, and most of you can spot this, it does not have the original uh, plastic eye caps. Um, and so the fact that it was not original uh, completely, um, sort of, um, I was sort of discouraged about um, featuring this. Um, but I've been looking around for an affordable one with the original eye caps for um, quite a few years, and I just haven't come up with one um, that that I think is is a, the right price. So um, I didn't want to wait any longer really to do this video, uh, and I, and I apologize again for the non-original eye caps. But I'll get back to the eye caps um, in a, in a minute, uh, and there's also something. Uh, an interesting photo that I'll show you um, that um, that sort of um, features the eye caps in a way um, that are that's that's kind of related to um, this one. But um, also, um, I I've sort of hesitated to do this video um, because uh, Mascahuna on the HMA uh, has um, created a. Um, a showcase thread on this um, that's very well done. There's a lot of great information. I encourage everybody to go take a look at that. Um, so I didn't really want to be redundant, but I, I did want to take a look at this because really um, it, it is in my top five all-time favorite um, masks. Um, oh, you know, and and it is as I mentioned in, in a previous video. I had a, a mask collection as a teenager. Um, this was one of the original masks that I had in that collection. Uh, this one is a, this copy is a replacement for that, uh, and as I also mentioned in my uh, previous uh, one of my previous videos, I don't have a, a good recollection of what happened to my masks. Um, but uh, but let let me get into this one just a little bit. And so uh, as I mentioned, it, it was first featured in the 1977 uh, Don Post catalog, and here's a photo of that catalog uh, where you can see this uh, mask, uh, and this was featured. Um, from 1977 through 1980 in those Don Post catalogs. Um, these are photos from uh, Pete's website. Thank you, Pete, uh, for your great archive at the Devil's Workshop. Uh, and uh, the final catalog page is here, this 1980 catalog, where uh, it was featured um, just, just the mask itself, not, not someone wearing it. Um, and and a, a, an interesting point in those um, earlier catalogs, um, and that you can see a photo of here. Um, they're actually um, Robbie the robot hands that, that the model or the person wearing the, uh, the mask is wearing. So the Death Cyborg was sculpted by Bill Malone, the great Bill Malone. And, um, and as Rob Tharp uh, had mentioned in Mascahuno's thread, um, these small uh, details around the neck here were actually plastic... Uh, model tank parts uh, that were pressed into the clay um, during the molding process. And uh, what's interesting about that is that um, they, they became hard to, to mold. The, they would create thin areas um, on these square um, and, and rectangular parts, uh, sharp edges on these parts. And so in, in later um, versions of this mask, these parts are actually removed and the neck is smooth. And um, I'd like to show you a picture of that later version here. I believe this is um, a photo by uh, the Crimson Ghost. Uh, you can see the neck on this one in the photo is, is completely smooth. All those detail parts are removed. Um, what's interesting about this photo too is that it has the gold uh, eye caps. Um, so the, the eye caps on the Death Cyborg started out as gold and then uh, changed to silver. Um, but I, I don't know exactly when that change took place uh, or if the eye caps in the, uh, the photo you just saw were original um, because it would seem if they started out as gold and turned to silver uh, or changed to silver, um, you wouldn't see the gold caps on the smoother neck unless they discontinued this neck very early on. Um, and so, uh, as I said, I really, really love this mask. The sculpt is fantastic. Um, there's a video uh, on YouTube that you can see 
um, of Don Post Jr. talking a little bit about this mask. And there was a little bit of controversy over the design um, because um, Don Post had the Star Wars license and, um, and it's obviously um, sort of a similar look to, to Darth Vader uh, without a helmet. And, um, and Don Post Studios was actually contacted um, um, by, as Don says, um, Lucas Films, and um, they were sort of challenged on it, uh, and and they they had to show that it was sculpted earlier uh, than the Darth Vader character, uh, which they did, um, and um, and it, in this this mask is featured in Lee Lambert's great book, The Illustrated History of Don Post Studios, and he talks about in the book that that uh, controversy as well over the design. Um, here's a here's a photo of that page out of um, Lee Lambert's book, and and as I mentioned, um, uh, the eye caps in this photo, if you look carefully, they actually appear to be the same replacements that that I have in in my copy, um, and, and they're very simple, um, and it's probably obvious these are just large mirrored sunglasses. Uh, that I removed the lens from and attached them inside the mask. It, it gives an approximate look to the original, um, but really, you know, I, I don't like the fact that I don't have the original eyepieces. I'm going to keep searching for uh, a copy that does have the original plastic eyepieces. What I fa find interesting uh, about the scarcity of them with the eyepieces is, um, as, a, as a kid, when I had this, um, I remember those original eyepieces... Um, could become cloudy and were very difficult sometimes to see out of. And my copy that I had, um, I, I was almost blind while wearing it. I, I could only see shadows, basically. Um, and at night, I, I, it was virtually like um, having no visibility whatsoever. And so I can see how a lot of um, these eye caps, um, the original ones, were, were removed just for the sake of being able to wear this mask and see. Um, that, that's what I, I believe has happened to so many of these that are missing the eye caps. Um, and I'll just turn it around so you can see this sculpt. This is just a great sculpt, just a wonderful looking mask. Uh, it displays really well. It is an all-time classic, and, and as I said, it's one of my uh, favorite masks of all time. I encourage everybody to try to find a Death Cyborg. They do pop up, as I said, um, for sale from time to time, um, finding one with the original eye caps at a good price has been a challenge, but uh, I encourage everyone who does not have a death cyborg to, to find one, get one in your collection. It is an all-time classic. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.